As expected, as we reopen, our positive cases have been increasing. And on Tuesday, as he addressed Oklahomans amid the largest single day spike in coronavirus cases, Governor Stitt wearing a mask for the first time. I am strongly encouraging Oklahomans to follow this guidance and wear a mask. This latest spike in new cases, 585 with 374 people recovering in the hospital. I know you said you won't mandate masks here in Oklahoma City yesterday. Is that something you would be considering? No, I will not consider reconsider mandating masks. We believe in freedoms. I will not mandate that in the state of Oklahoma. Something Stitt says the state will be doing, though, launching a new color coded system to help citizens recognize the virus threat level and provide more data county by county. It's an idea that Democratic leaders also promoted last week during a press conference. Giving county by county guidance gives Oklahomans accurate pictures of the situation in their communities. It also encourages them to be personally responsible for their actions, knowing their behaviors can help keep their county in the green. Commissioner of Health Dr. Lance Fry also speaking to Oklahomans, acknowledging a heightened interest in testing. This allows us to inform active cases in order to quarantine, to conduct tracing efforts, to encourage additional testing, and to understand the rate and reason for community spread. Both health officials and the governor with a serious warning ahead of the 4th of July holiday. As we head into the 4th of July weekend, we need to continue to protect those who are most vulnerable. As we celebrate our nation's freedoms, we ask you to please wear a mask. Now today, the governor also announced three new CARES Act grants totaling $50 million. A lot of that money will go toward contact tracing and investigation and more public access to testing. Reporting live from the state capitol, Jessica Bruno, Oklahoma's News 4.